Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final day of the South Fraser Basketball Championships. Congratulations to both the Solomon and Night Stars for the Three Fair Panthers for both qualifying for the BC Senior Boys Basketball Conventions to give them a round of applause. This is um, always an exciting day, but this is the great day. Anyway, I uh, wanted to just uh, wish both teams um, good luck, and our officials for the uh, game today are Mr. Bruce Funk, Mr. Joe Capitondo, and Mr. Christopher Valheri. And just remember, I want you to uh, cheer respectfully, not just for the players, but for the gentlemen and the stripes as well. Well, they don't wear stripes anymore, they have these nice big fancy shirts that kind of make them blend in. Anyway, have a great, uh, have a great evening here, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing both these teams uh, in the provincials. Tip-off, we are underway here. The third, fourth place game of the South Fraser Championships. Sullivan Heights with the tip-off. That ball uh, misses on that shot there by Sullivan and it's quickly gathered up by number 13, Monroe Gill of the, of the Panthers. Robert Cook lays in a two-pointer and the Panthers go up. 2-0. Number eight, Nick Baxter on that drive to the net. Smithers into the hands of Monroe Gill. Into Such, now to Smithers and down low to Orogi. Monroe Gill gives off to Smithers. He's going to drive, put the jumper up, and it's going to come up way short. Rebounded by the Stars. Number 24, Julius DeJesus handling the ball. Gives way to number 20, Yuvraj Graywall. Jesus for three. And we got an offensive foul called against the Sullivan Heights stars number 18 Navin Sadu and that's going to be a legal screen Nate Smithers with the ball now he gives off to Robert Cook who's going to give way to Munroop Gill who jumps her jumper and misses number 20 Navin Graywall on that Ubraz Graywall on that rebound 
to Jesus now for the Stars. He's going to try and put one up over Robert Cook, which doesn't work. Arogi on that rebound. Now Tripp suits with the ball, gives way to Monroe Gill. He's going to drive baseline, go up for the layup, doesn't go, but Arogi rebounds it, and Monroe Gill now with the ball. And that ball is going to go off at number 24 to Jesus. And it'll be Panthers ball with 22 seconds on the shot clock. The score is 2-2 right now with 7.59 left in the first quarter of the third, fourth place game between the Panthers and the Stars. Cook with the jumper. Misses. And sloppy but rebounded now. Loose ball into the hands of number eight, Baxter. He's gonna shoot a three. A rogie rebounds it and it's gonna go out of bounds. Tipped off of Sadu and it'll be Panthers ball. Trip suits with the ball now for the Panthers. Gives off to Manroof Gill, who's going to drive and doesn't go. Rebounded by Sadu. Into the hands of Graywall. Down low to Sadu, but he bobbles it and has to give it out to DeJesus. Sadu, and he's going to get fouled. And Sadu's going to go to the line to shoot two. And that foul is going to get charged to number 10, Trevon Arogi of the Panthers. It's nice to have a three-person crew on, uh, on these championship uh, games here. Um, these games move so fast at this level with the top four teams in the South Fraser having a three-person referee officiating crew here. Um, they do such a great job. Getting it, they just get it right. And Sadu hits both for a 4-2. Sullivan Heights lead. Search into the hands of Gill. Search for three. And that's going to hit the rim and be rebounded by Gill. He's going to go inside to Cook. He's going to try and lay it in but comes up short. And it's going to go off of uh, Trip Search and be Sullivan's ball. Ball goes out of bounds off of Monroe Gill here. Back through to inbound for the Stars. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Graywall back to Baxter. Baxter's going to drive. And Arogi with that rebound. A oh. little bit of tentative play by both teams right now. As Smithers gives off to Cook. And Monroe gathers his own rebound and lays in the two underneath the hoop to make it a 4-4 score. The Jesus now. Down to Sadu into Graywall. Graywall's gonna try and shoot off a of Robert shoot over Robert Cook and that doesn't work. Into the hands of Nate Smithers now. Up top to Gill. Gill with the Panthers driving. And it's going to go off of a Stars player and out of bounds with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Trevon Arogi now. And he's going to drive and lay one in. As I said, it looks like a bit of a tentative start for both teams. Um, not as, not as uh, high flying as I thought they'd come out. Um, there's a turnover by Cook and he gets it into the hands of Monroe Gill who's gonna drive and lay it up for another two. And now the Panthers are out to an 8-4 lead with 5.16 left in the first quarter. Baxter across center for the Stars. Into Huggle. 
Huggle from the free throw line. Cook on the rebound into Smithers. Fast breaking of the Panthers into Such. He's going to go all the way up and lay one in over top of DeJesus. Six point lead now for the Panthers. Baxter crossing center. Pressured by Trip Such for the Panthers. He's going to get it out to Huggle into DeJesus. He's going to drive around Gill and lay one in. Gill for three. Doesn't go. Sadu on that rebound. DeJesus down low to Huggle. DeJesus drives. Doesn't go, but picked up by Graywall, and he's going to drop that in for two. Sullivan Heights climbs back to within two points with 4.03 left in the first quarter. Smithers down to Cook. Up top to Arogi. Cook, oh, he tries to drop one in there to Monroe Gill and shut down there by Graywall of the Stars. Graywall driving around Cook, lays it in. We got a 10-10 ball game now with 3.34 remaining first quarter of the third, fourth place game in the South Fraser Basketball Championships. Smithers drives, and that's going to go. Baxter for the Stars now. And he's going to turn that over to Monroe Gill. Quickly up court, back to Such, and he drops it in for two. Ball in the hands of Huggle up top. He's going to try and drive and get double teamed there. Rebounded by Smithers, quickly up to Gill. And Gill's going to travel there. And we got subs coming in for both teams here. Checking in for the Panthers. Number four, Armand Kingra. Number 19, Joven Sahoda. And number 14, Apollo Greenlay. Checking in for the Stars. Number zero, Chase Haydock. And number 13, Diego Norris. Graywall drops that in. Tweetsmere coach was looking for a moving screen there on the stars, from the stars there, but it doesn't happen. Shot attempt by Apollo Greenlay doesn't go. Rebounded by the stars here up top to Graywall. Graywall's going to lay one in there right in front of. Joven Sahoda, he just barrels him over. Sahoda now with the ball up to Monroe Gill. We got a 14-14 game with 146 remaining first quarter. Paulo Greenlay to Monroe Gill. He's going to try and drive. Gives it inside to Arogi and it doesn't go. Rebounded by Haydock into the hands of of uh, Baxter now. He's going to drive, and he's going to get fouled by Gill. And we got subs coming in for the Stars. So it was a hit to the hand charge to the Panthers. 22 on the shot clock. Entering into the game for the uh, Stars is going to number 14, Harjun Kalon. And number two, Logan McAvoy. McAvoy with the ball up top for the Stars now into Baxter. Baxter out to McAvoy. And that ball's going to go off of uh, Kalon. 
and it'll be Panthers ball. 103 remaining first quarter, 14-14. Ball to Greenlay, he's gonna drive and shoot and he's gonna get fouled by Haydock. And we got subs coming in for the Panthers. Number 21, Sahib Warak is coming in for Armand Kingra. Going to the line for two shots is going to be number 14, Apollo Greenlay. And he's going to miss the first. And he makes the second. So with the minute to go, it's a 15-14 uh, one-point lead for the Panthers. Baxter with the ball crossing center, closely guarded by Greenlay of the Panthers. Baxter trying to drive, gives it to McAvoy. McAvoy's gonna travel there, drag his back foot. And that'll be a turnover. Sahota brings the ball across center for the Panthers. Now Manroop Gill with the ball. The green lay in, he had to just kind of chuck it back into a pile of Sullivan Knight Stars players and Baxter comes up with the ball there. Not a good turnover for the Panthers there with 22 seconds left. He gives the last shot to the, uh, to the Stars here. That shot by uh, Norris didn't go, but Kalon picked up that rebound and dropped in the two-pointer to give Sullivan a one-point lead at the quarter break here. So as we enter the second quarter, it'll be a 16-15 one-point lead for the Sullivan Heights Stars. We'll take a short break and be right back for the second quarter. Following uh, this game here, we will have the first and second place game, uh, which will feature the Semiamu Totems, or sorry, make that the Semiamu Thunderbirds uh, versus the Tamanos Wildcats. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Um, and that game will be at 6.45 today. So Lord Tweedsmere to inbound at the break here uh, with Apollo Greenlay to inbound for the Panthers. And he'll give that to Joven Sahota and get it quickly to Monroe Gill. Greenlay's gonna drive, he's gonna stop and give a jumper. And he misses, but Cook rebounds it and as Cook goes up, he puts it in. And he's got a chance for the three point play here. And that foul goes as charge to number 18, Navin Sadu. So Cook's gonna shoot one here. And it's gonna miss, and Manroop Gill steals the ball away from Sadu here. Gets it to Greenlay, to Arogi. Sahota for three. Rebounded nicely by Monroe Gill off the miss, and he gets it right to Robert Cook, who drops in two for the Panthers. 19-16 Panthers, 9-29 remaining, second quarter. The Jesus now for the Stars. Sadu for three, and that misses, but tips off of Arogi, and Sadu couldn't convert on that opportunity. 
quickly up by Joven Sahoda into the hands of Gill. Greenlay now to Gill. Closely guarded by Huggle. Nice pass down to Sahoda to Greenlay for three. Rebounded by Graywall there. Norris with the ball, gives off to, to De Jesus. And he drives and shoots over top of Greenlay. Joven Sahota quickly up to Gill. Gill for three. And that's gonna hit the rim. De Jesus is gonna rebound that for the Stars and get it into the hands of Norris. Graywall trying to drive, but Sahota just steps in and steals it. He's gonna drive to the hoop. And he's gonna lay it in. And he's gonna have a chance for an extra, for the three point play here. Nice drive by Joven Sahota there. He drops it down, gets fouled, and he's gonna have a chance to shoot for the extra point. And we got subs coming into the game. Checking in for the uh, Stars is gonna be Baxter again, checking out his Norris. And Nate Smithers and uh, Jaden Creedy's gonna check in for the Panthers. Sahota misses that uh, free throw. Rebounded by the Stars, Baxter. To the, ha to the Jesus, now back to Baxter. Baxter driving, kicks out to Sanu. Up to Huggle. He's gonna drive and shoot, doesn't go. Rebounded by Arogi. Into the hands of Smithers. Smithers directing traffic. Sahota all the way across to Creedy for three. And that comes up well short. And Baxter's going to get fouled by Smithers as he crosses center. Tight game right now. 21-18 for the Panthers with 7.24 remaining in the second quarter. Baxter with the ball for the Stars. And he's gonna try a jump shot from the free throw line that doesn't go, rebounded by Creedy. Into the hands of Greenlee and then up to Smithers. Down to Sahota, up to Arogi. He's gonna drive, give off to Smithers. Greenlee is gonna drive on a nice pass from Sahota, but that just rims out. A little too much mustard on it there for Greenlee. Went down and back out. De Jesus with the ball now. Into the hands of Baxter. Sadu now. Driving, stepping, and scoring. Smithers crossing center for the Panthers. He's going to drive and pass, and that's going to get missed by Arogi and turned over. Baxter bringing the ball up court for the Stars. Gets it to Graywall. Now Sadu with the ball. Jumper misses, Arogi on the rebound into the hands of Smithers. Quickly up to Apollo Greenlee. He's gonna drive hard and lay it in. Good strong drive to the hoop for Greenlee there. No chance. Baxter's gonna try the same thing but gets stuffed. But does eventually penetrate and drops it down. Smithers, that misses, and that's gonna go off of Sullivan uh, stars to Jesus' foot, and that's gonna be a turnover, and that's gonna be uh, Tweedsmere ball. And I believe they're gonna have 18 on the shot clock. Great job by the shot clock operator on that one. 
Got a little assist from yours truly, the announcer. Balls inbounded to Arogi. Sahoda, short jumper, doesn't go. Rebounded by Graywall. He's going to give it up to Baxter, who quickly gets it over to Jesus. He's going to drive and get stuffed by Apollo, by sorry, by Trevo, by Trevon Arogi. But Hago picks it up and hits the three. 25-23, Sullivan Stars. Five minutes remaining, second quarter. Sahoda misses that. Up to Huggle. Drives and lays it in over top of Greenlay. The Stars have stretched their lead to four with 4.30 to go in the second quarter. Yuvraj Kapil has checked into the game for the Panthers, number 22. The Panthers have kind of gone dry shooting the ball here. The Jesus drives and it goes. 29-23, Stars, 4.05 remaining second quarter. Smithers crosses center for the Panthers. And Sahota turns that over, but then Graywall just hands it right back to Greenlay. Greenlay for three. And that ball is rebounded by number eight, Baxter, who's going to drive. And doesn't go. And it's going to be Sullivan's ball as Baxter was able to get to that and knock it in off of uh, Apollo Greenlay's leg. Checking into the game for the Panthers will be uh, Monroe Gill. And I think official just checking for any uh, perspiration on the court there as a couple of players went down into the Sullivan hoop. Sadu's going to travel. And that'll be a turnover. Smithers, Smithers with the ball now crossing center for the Panthers. Capel for three, and that comes up well short. Air balls it. Jesus gathers that now and crosses center. Sadu driving. And Arogi's going to bowl over Sadu. And Sadu's going to go to the line for two. As Robert Cook checks back into the game for the Panthers. Arogi's going to check out. So Sadu's going to shoot two here. And oh man, this is the first. Ball went down and came right back out. And oh boy, that's another one that came in and out. So Sadu goes 0 for 2 on his free throws there. Ball's in the hands of Monroe Gill. He's going to kick it out to Capel for three. And it goes, wow. That one went down, out, and then back down again. 29, 26, stars. 248 remaining in the second quarter. Baxter surveying things up top for the stars, gives it away to Graywall. Trying to get it to Huggle, who gets it, drives Graywall now, and he lays it in. Nate Smithers up court quickly for the Panthers into Gill. Gill all the way across to Greenlay for three. And that misses and is rebounded by Graywall. Baxter now. Jumper. Rebounded by Greenlay. Gets into the hands of Smithers quickly up to Gill. Cook's going to travel there. 
And we got subs coming into the game here. Checking in for the stars will be Haydock and Norris. And Trip Such is going to check in for the Panthers as Smithers checks out. So with 1.59 remaining in the second quarter, we've got a 31-26 lead for the Stars. Huggle for three. Doesn't go down and King, or sorry, Capill rebounds that. Monroe Gill to Greenlay for two. And Cook's gonna rebound that and get it out to Greenlay again. Over to Such. Monroe Gill for three. And that ball is rebounded by the Stars. Baxter up to Huggle. He's gonna drive hard. And that's gonna go. And that foul's gonna be charged to Apollo Greenlay. And we got a sub coming in. And that's going to be Sahib Wariach coming in. <coughs> As Cook, Cook, Robert Cook checks out. And we got Savon Rogi checking back in for the Panthers after the made shot by Huggle. And we have a 34-26 game for the Stars here as the ball's inbounded to Apollo Greenlay with 119 remaining in the second quarter. Gill for three. Three, Arogi drops it down, gets fouled. Great rebound by Trevon Arogi there. Continuation, gets the basket. He's gonna go to the line, shoot one. And that foul's gonna get charged to number 14. Harjun Kalon of the Stars, so a rogi for one. And he makes it. That's gonna make it a 34-29 ball game with a minute nine to go. And that's Huggle for three. <laughs> Sorry, Huggle for three. 37-29 Stars. Wariats with the ball. Arogi for three, and it goes down. Everyone's starting to find their stroke now and settle into this game with 40 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Baxter with the ball now. Over to Norris. Huggle. Down low to Haydock. Beautiful pass by Huggle to Haydock. He puts in the easy layup. Such with the ball now for the Panthers. Paulo Greenlay now up to Monroe Gill. Such for three, and that comes up short. Rebounded by the uh, Stars, Diego Norris. Huggles gonna huck one up. Oh, and it just hits the rim and is no good. <laughs> so, at the half, we have a 39 32 score in favor of the Sullivan Stars. This uh, this third fourth uh, place game is in some ways a little bit anticlimactic to some degree, given that both teams are headed to the BC Championships. Um, first quarter was a little bit slow starting out, um, just kind of one of those things where both teams were feeling themselves, feeling each other out, kind of get a sense for where they where the game was at but they've now seemed to find their stride now and the shots are, shots are much better. The three pointers are starting to go in and we'll see the adjustments that get made uh, in the, uh, in the, at the half here by both teams. And I'm sure we'll have a, uh, a more, probably a bit more free flowing uh, second half here as we, uh, as we move into the second half of this game here. We're gonna take a short break here and as we as we come into the second half, the ball will be the Sullivan Heights Stars ball to inbound. So we'll, uh, we'll take a short break and we'll be uh, right back.
So welcome back to the uh, third quarter of the third fourth place game between the Sullivan Heights Stars and the Lord Sweetsmere Panthers. As the play gets underway, we got number eight Baxter for Sullivan with the ball up top. And Huggle's going to drain a three right off the bat. And that's going to make it 42-32 for the Stars. Trip Such tries to go inside to Cook, and that gets intercepted by Graywall. Quickly up court is Jesus. He's going to kick it out to Graywall, who's going to shoot the three. And that's going to get rebounded by Jesus into the hands of Baxter. Graywall over to Jesus into Baxter. He's going to give the short jumper and drain it. And the gym starts to fill up a little bit more as fans come in for the next game, which is always nice to see. We've had a pretty packed house the last couple of days here at Lord Tweedsmere. Smithers tries to put one in there, but it gets uh, doesn't go, but Graywall knocks it out of bounds. And we got subs coming in for the Panthers. Checking in number 19, Joven Sahota coming in for Smithers. And we got the referee uh, 
getting a wardrobe check on number 18, Sadu. Wants to tuck his jersey in there. Gill for three. And that doesn't go and it's rebounded by Graywall into the hands of Baxter. To Jesus, back to Baxter. Baxter's going to get fouled by Gill. <laughs> and he's going to go to the line for two. So it's 8 25 remaining in the third quarter. It is 44 32 for the Stars. Baxter to the line for two shots. And the first one's going to go down. And Baxter's going to go two for two from the free throw line. Such for three. And that doesn't go and gets rebounded by Sadu. Quickly to in the hands of Baxter. I expected the ball more in the hands of Huggle today, but Baxter seems to be doing most of the controlling here. Huggle for three. And that's going to get rebounded by Cook into the hands of Manroop Gill. Gill. Drops that in over top of a host of Sullivan Stars. I think there were three of them on him. Huggle driving on Cook. That doesn't go. And that's going to go off of Gill. And so with 22 on the shot clock, DeJesus is going to inbound at the baseline. Get it into the hands of Baxter. To Jesus can't get that to go down over Such. Such. Trip Such up to Trevana Rogi. He's going to lay one in and doesn't go. Comes off the backboard too hard. Baxter now being closely guarded by Gill. When Rube Gill took a quick look at the scoreboard, didn't really like it. Baxter for three, but to Jesus on that rebound as that didn't go down. Now Huggle driving, and he's going to lay in the two. And the Stars have stretched their lead out to 14, 48, 34. A Rogi, and he's going to get fouled. And that's going to be baseline. No shots there. And that foul is going to get charged to Sadu. The ball gets inbounded to Jaden Creedy. Into the hands of Gill, and he's going to drop one up. And that's going to go down. Gill's going to go to the line for an extra for a chance to make it a three point play. And that foul got charged to, I believe, Haydock, number zero. And Gill puts it in, gets the lead, gets the deficit for the Panthers down to 11 points. To Jesus now driving into Graywall, doesn't go down, rebounded there by Sorota. 
Gill thinks better. Now he's going to drive base. Give it up. And it's turned over to Baxter. Driving hard. And it gets turned over by Baxter. Arogi up to Gill. Gill down low to Arogi. Monroe Gill driving and tries to go up over top of Graywall, but that doesn't go. De Jesus on the drive, easy lay. Oh man, that didn't go in. Looked like it was going and it just didn't go. Rebounded by Wara, by Sahib. Three by Gill, in and out. Not sure what happened there as Graywall lost the handle. Monroe Gill got a hold of it, got it to a rogi now to Creedy, and he drops in the easy floater. Baxter down to Huggle. He's gonna shoot the three. And Haycock, Haydock, and Haydock's gonna get a push over the top. And that's gonna get charged to number zero. That was Hayes Jadock on that foul. <coughs> and some confusion here on the subs as Trip Suits checks in, as does Apollo Greenlay, who's going to drive. Sahib Warwick with the ball now to Suits, now to Gill, driving up. And just rims out there, rebounded by Graywall. Nice pass inside to Graywall from Huggle. Sahib Warrock lays it in over top of Norris. Baxter now bringing the ball up. Huggle with the ball, he's gonna shoot the three. And they doesn't, can't get it over top of Greenlay. Creedy up to Monroe Gill. Down to Greenlay, into Such. And Such puts it up over top of Kalon. And we got a seven point ball game with 325 remaining in the third quarter. Baxter with the ball, now up top to Graywall, back to Baxter. Tries to drive and lay it in and he can't get it to go. It's rebounded by Creedy. Monroe Gill, floater, lays it in. That 14 point lead for the Stars is a distant memory now. The lead's now down to five. And I'm not sure what happened there. Well, I think it went out of bounds there. Touched out of bounds by Monroe Gill. So with 19 on the shot clock, the Stars will inbound in the front court. Ball gets inbounded to Graywall, immediately back to Baxter. Being closely guarded by Gill. Kalon with the ball. And Norris lays that in. Creedy for three. Yes. Baxter with the ball now being up to Graywall. Warriok. Guarding him. Oh, Huggle, what a beautiful drive by Huggle. Six point lead for the Stars, 54 48, two minutes remaining, third quarter.
Gill lays in another two. I think he got away with a bit of a push off there, but nonetheless, there's always a little of that going on. Greenway guarding Baxter. Huggle now. Kalon, he tries to get around Greedy, doesn't, up to Sooch. Quickly to Roryak. And he's gonna try and float one in. And Greenlay is gonna get that rebound. Creedy for three, and doesn't go, but Suits comes up with the rebound and immediately goes back up. But that can't get it to go. And Graywall rebounds that into the hands of Baxter. Graywall with the ball now for the Stars. Driving around Sahib Warrior, and he's gonna get fouled. And he's going to get fouled by number 21, Sahib Woriak. And he's going to go to the line for two. Checking in, checking in for the Panthers is going to be Trevon Arogi at number 19, Joven Sahoda. So with 48 seconds left in the third quarter, we got a 54 to 50 score in favor of the Stars with Graywall going to the line to shoot two. And he misses the first. And we're just going to have a break here. It was And he missed the second. Tip suits for three. And that rims over right into the hands of Gill and he puts it back for the lay-in. We got a two-point ball game. Norris now coming across, gets it to Graywall. And we got a foul. I think we got Suits on the backside there on the head. And Graywall's gonna go to the line for two. And they miss both the free throws. We got last shot here for the Panthers. It's 54-52. Monroe Gill driving too easy. Lays it in to tie the game. And so at the end of the third quarter, we have a 54-54 ball game. At one point it was a four-point game, a 14-point lead for the Stars. But the Panthers quickly cut back into that in the remaining uh, four minutes of that uh, se uh, that third quarter there. And so uh, as we move to the fourth quarter, we're going to take a short break here with the score 54-54. Fourth quarter action coming right up very shortly.
So as we uh, start the fourth quarter here, the three-four game, uh, don't tell me, uh, don't tell me that even though these uh, both teams are in the have already punched their ticket for the provincials, don't tell me they don't care about wins and losses. I'll tell you. That three-point three attempt by Arogi uh, doesn't go. It's rebounded by Graywall. Arrow. Three by Huggle. And that's going to get rebounded by Sahota. Quickly up court he goes. Bounce pass. Attempt to Arogi. Gets intercepted by Sadu. Into the hands of DeJesus. Now to Baxter. Huggle now with the ball. Into Jesus driving. And he gets stopped, but he gets it back. And he stepped out of bounds. Such inbounds to Joven Sahoda. Gets it to Gill. He's going to jump it, and it's going to go. Panthers take a two-point lead now with nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter. 56-54. Baxter for the Stars. Oh, man. Baxter comes up short. I think that got tipped by Gill. Sahota gets it into the hands of Gill. All the way over to Orogi. He's going to drive baseline. See Such coming down Main Street. And Such is going to get fouled. Almost goes in. But he's going to go to the line for two. So that foul got charged to... Number 24, that was Julius DeJesus. Such is going to go to the line for two. And he makes the first. I will say this, the Panthers have, um, one of the things the Panthers have really improved on over the years is their free throw shots. And uh, that makes a big difference in a game like this. And, uh, wouldn't it be that I just jinxed him as he misses the second. Rebounded there by Sadu and uh, quickly to Graywall and in the hands of DeJesus. Baxter now with the ball up top for the Stars. And Huggle attempted that pass to Baxter and Gill goes off of Gill. And the Sullivan Heights fans have uh, started uh, helping ramp their team up here, chanting, let's go Sully. And that ball doesn't go by De Jesus, rebounded by Arogi, quickly into the hands of Gill. He's gonna drive baseline, and he's gonna get fouled. And I believe the foul is going to get charged to Huggle, number nine. If Huggle hadn't have fouled him, uh, it would have been a pretty clean block by Graywall. Gill hits that one. And he makes the second. So we got a 59-54 ball game here in favor of the Panthers. Huggle now. Fade away, doesn't go. Suits rebounds it into the hands of Joven Sahota, quickly up to Manroop Gill. He sees Jaden Creedy going to the hoop, can't control it, gets it back to Manroop Gill. Creedy to Gill. Inside to Arogi, doesn't go down. Baxter 
Gets that off the rebound from Graywall. And DeJesus drives and lays it in. Gill up court for the Panthers. Suits going down Main Street again. And he's going to get fouled. And he's going to go to the line for two. And we got subs coming in. And and Suits misses the first. And he makes the second. So that last foul was charged to number 20, Fu De Jesus. And now we got an offensive foul called here, charged to the Stars. That's going to get charged to number 24 again. Tough go here for. To Jesus here as he picks up two quick fouls. And that's going to be his third personal. He's going to give that uh, Sahota to McCready. Sahota to McCready. He lays in the easy jumper from the uh, free throw stripe. And we got a 62 56 ball game. Gill gives off to Creedy. Sahota, jumper for two. 64 58, Panthers, 5 58 remaining. Fourth quarter of the third, fourth place game in the South Fraser Basketball Championships. Gill turns that ball over on Baxter, and he's going to get fouled. And that's going to be the fourth foul to DeJesus. And they're gonna need to, they're gonna need to bring him out of the game here. And Norris is gonna come in. And that's gonna be the fifth team foul. Yeah, that's gonna be the fifth team foul to the Stars this quarter. So with 5.48 to go, uh, the Panthers are already in the bonus here. Gill's going to go to the line, shooting two. And he makes the first. And he's going to miss the second. It's going to get rebounded by Travana Rogi. And a mad scramble going on here with the ball. So we got confusing calls here. We got a foul call and we got a jump ball call. We're going to go with the foul call here. And that foul is going to get charged to the Panthers number 13, Monroe Gill. And Sullivan will take over. Hey, how are you? That's going to be Baxter driving, and he's going to go in for the easy layup. And we got a 65-60 ball game in favor of the Panthers with 5.25 to go in the quarter and the game. Sahota over to Creedy. Creedy back to Sahota, who's going to drive and take a jumper from the free throw line. It's going to miss, and it's going to get rebounded by Graywall into the hands of Baxter up court quickly.
Baxter with the ball being guarded by Gill. He's gonna take the short jumper and it's gonna miss and get rebounded by Creedy quickly into the hands of Monroe Gill up court. Gill over to Creedy. He's gonna drive and he's gonna lay it in. Creedy over top of Graywall there. 67-60 for the Panthers with 4.38 remaining in the game. Broadcast. Norris for three. Gill over to Sahoda. Warax with the ball into Creedy. Back to Gill. Gill gonna drive. And he's gonna try and get it over top of Graywall, but nothing doing, he gets stopped. Baxter with the ball now up court for the Stars. Baxter gonna drive. Good defense by Trevon Arogi. And that ball's gonna go out of bounds. And we're gonna have uh, Apollo Greenlay checking in for the Panthers. And the Sullivan Stars are going to take a timeout here. So with just under four minutes remaining, we got a 67-63 ball game in favor of the Panthers. We'll take a short break. So as we come out of the timeout here, and um, so with 3:56 remaining in the fourth quarter, we got a 67-63 ball game in favor of the Panthers. Gill into Orogi tries to drive to Such Greenlay for three, and Greenlay is going to get fouled. And Greenlay is going to go to the free throw line for three shots. And Norris coming out of the game, checking back in as number 24 to Jesus. Greenlay makes the first. Misses the second, but he's going to have a third shot here. And he makes the third. Two for three from the free throw line for Apollo Greenlay. Baxter up court for the Stars into Graywall, into Sidhu now driving, and he can't get that to go. Suits rebounds it. Into the hands of Monroe Gill now. 3.30 remaining, fourth quarter. Apollo Greenlay back to Monroe Gill. They're going to slow it down a little bit, are the Panthers. Such gets that rebound off that air and shot by Gill. And then Greenlay promptly turns it over to De Jesus. And De Jesus lays it in. 69-65. That ball gets turned over. Baxter for three. Yes! Nails it. One point ball game, 69-68. Panthers, 2.40 to go, fourth quarter. 
Gill with the ball to Such. He's going to drive. Throws it inside to no one. And Huggle intercepts that. Quickly up to Sanu, but he gives it away to Gill. Gill's going to drive and get fouled. And it goes. When Ruth Gill with the steal gets the basket. Well, after the made basket on the turnover there, Monroop Gill's going to go to the line for one. <laughs> and he makes it. Baxter bringing the ball up court for the Stars. Oh, that's turned over by Baxter into the hands of Arogi. Now to Gill. Gill's going to... Thought he was going to slow it down. Kick it out to Sahota for three. Can't get it to go. Gill comes up with it, though. And he's going to slow it down with under two minutes to go. And we got an offense moving screen. And that's charged to number 19, Sahota. And... So with a minute 50 to go, we got a 72-68 ball game. De Jesus now with the ball for the Stars. Minute 35 to go. Driving and Lynn. Oh, with 131 remaining, 72-70 Panthers. And we got a foul. And Monroe Gill's gonna go to the line for two. That foul's gonna get charged to, I believe, number eight, Baxter. That is his first foul of the game. Sullivan coach not very happy with that call there. Monroe Gill shoots the first, makes it. And he makes the second. 74-70 Panthers, minute 23. Jesus with the ball now. He's going to drive on a rogi, and it's going to be a block. Yeah. Jesus is going to the line for two shots. And 
And um, on that uh, on that play there, number 10, Arogi got a flop warning. Um, it is what it is at this point. De Jesus makes the first. And he makes the second. So a minute 15 to go, 74-72, Panthers. This is for third in place in the South Fraser Championships. Gill with the ball, driving. Jumper makes it. 76-72, Panthers. De Jesus across center. Gives off to Baxter. To Jesus. Down to Sidhu. Back to De Jesus. And he puts it up, but doesn't go. Suits comes down with a big rebound there. Gill's going to settle it down. There's about a two second difference on the shot clock. Ball goes to Gill. And Gill gets grabbed. And I'm not sure what happened there. I think there were a little bit of dramatics on both parts. And that foul is going to get charged to number nine. And uh, Monroe Gill is going to go to the line to shoot two with 19 seconds remaining in the game. And he makes it. Does he want one? After this one. Okay. Okay. So Gill makes the first. We'll see what he does here. Misses. Graywall got that, Sidhu got that rebound into the hands of Baxter. Now to Baxter, driving, going up, and he gets fouled. And that foul is going to get charged to number 12, Trip Such. So Baxter's going to go to the line for two. Horn. So before the shots, the Panthers are going to take a timeout. So we have a 77-72 ball game here with, uh, I think there's about 8.8 .8 seconds left. And uh, Sullivan's going to go to the line to shoot two free throws here. And just stay tuned as well. Uh, after this game, we'll have the presentations of uh, any All-Stars as well as the third and fourth place plaques to both teams. And then the final game of the night will be the Semiamu Thunderbirds versus the Tamanuas Wildcats. That'll be for first and second place in the South Fraser Basketball Conference. And Baxter makes the first to draw it to within five.
So he doesn't make it. And Creedy's going to get the ball. And we're going to get a foul. Charge to number 33. And we'll get subs coming in. Horn. So Jaden Creedy's going to go to the line for two shots with about 5.2 left. And he makes the second. And we'll have a timeout going to Sullivan. with 5.5 seconds left in the game we have a 78-73 game in favor of the Panthers just a reminder the first place game is due up at 645 here at Lord Tweedsmere it'll be the Semiamu Thunderbirds versus the Tamanuas Wildcats. And we'll just get a check on the score here. And we'll just make an adjustment on the score there. The score is 79-73 in favor of the Panthers. So with 5.2 to go. DeJesus will inbound. Ball goes up and that's gonna do it. The Panthers are gonna win 79-73 over the Sullivan Height Stars. Presentations to come.
next up, the Stanley Avenue Thunderbirds versus the Commandos Wildcats. Can you please make your way out for quickly? Those that are leaving, those that are coming, find the seat.
Good evening, welcome to the South Fraser Basketball Championships. The first place championship game between the home team, Semi Avenue Thunderbirds, and the visiting Spanish Wildcats. South Fraser Championship between the semi Amu Thunderbird and the Tamanus Wildcats. The Wildcats won the tip off here. Balls in the hands of number nine, Sava Burke, turned over to number 33, Clayton. Now into the hands of number three, Juco. Juco up top of the ball into number 11, Woriach. That ball by number 13, Sneed, falls short. Ball's turned over, now into the hands of number seven, Bangu, and he hits the two jumper. Juco with the ball, into 11, turned over by Woriach, and he's gonna get fouled. Number 12, Sangara getting fouled by number 11, Jodan Woriach. We got a 2-0 lead for the Tamanos Wildcats with 9-10 gone, not with with, a, with 50 seconds gone in the first quarter. Hare with the ball up top for the Wildcats. He's going to kick it over to Sangara, who's going to drive into the lane. Burke with the three-pointer that didn't go, gets into the hands of number 11, Woriach. He gets it over to number three, Juco. Juco driving. Three! By number 10, Mateo Mihala. Hare with the ball, he's gonna drive. Floater doesn't go, but number 20. Man picks up the garbage and lays it in. And we got a bit of a scoring issue here. We got 4-3 for the Wildcats now. Ball's up top in the hands of 13. Sneed. He's going to kick out to 10. Mahala. Three. And it's going to hit the wire up top as that was number 33. Clayton taking that three-pointer. Bangu inbounds to number 11, Hare. Number nine, Verk now driving the lane, and he can't get that to go. 
Clayton comes up with the rebound, gets it into the hands of number 11. Warriots up to number three, Juco. Out to 10, Miyahawa. Clayton, floater, and it goes down. 5-3, 5-4 lead for the Thunderbirds with 7.29 to go first quarter. And we're gonna get a foul. And Bangu's gonna go to the line for three. That foul is charged to, I believe, number 33. Oh, sorry. That got charged to number 13, Sneed. Bangu missed the first. And he makes the second. He's got one more though. And he makes the third. 6-5 to Manawis. Early in the game. Ball's inside to Sneed. He kicks it out to Juco who bobbled it. Now recovers all the way over for the three to Jordan Wiriach. Hair gives way to Sangera. Burke with the ball now, drives into the middle and offense charge to number nine, Burke. So we had no basket there. So I believe we have a 8-6 score in favor of the Thunderbird with Juco bringing the ball up court now. Ball's in the hands of Sangara. Out to Hare. Now to Burke. Back into the hands of Sangara. Bangu now driving. Tries to put it down. And we're going to have a foul. And fouls on White 33. So Bangu goes to the line here, and um, he makes the first of two. And he makes the second. So we got an 8-8 game with six minutes left in the first quarter. Ball's up top with Hare. Now to Juco. Sneed driving, tries the underhand scoop, gets his own rebound, and now we got a foul. And we got a foul on red nine. That gets charged to Verk. And 
And our team fouls are three team fouls for uh, Semi and two for Tamanois. Wariots to inbound, he gets it to number 10, Mehala. Juco driving, underhand lay and it goes. Ball up court, into the game now for uh, Tamanois. Michael Ardalwa on the tee. Up top now to Mann. Odd play there. Number seven, Bangu saved it, but put it right to the Thunderbirds. And Sneed passes to Clayton, and Clayton promptly puts it off his own foot, out of bounds. You okay? Good. Bangu now. Sangara tries to get it inside, but it gets back to, to Sangara, and he's going to get fouled. And that foul is going to get charged to number 10, Mateo Miahala. Coming out of the game for the Wildcats is number 20, Man, and into the game is number 23, Arjun Hihar. So Sangara misses the first but makes the second. Juco with the ball up top for the Thunderbirds. Now into the hands of Miahala, back to Juco. Clayton now kicks it out to Miahala. All the way over to Woriach, who's gonna try and drive. Clayton for three, yes! Puts it. 13-9, Thunderbirds. Hare with the ball being guarded closely by Sneed. Kicks it all the way over to Sangara. Jumper doesn't go down, but goes off of Clayton and out of bounds. It'll be Tamano's ball with 18 on the shot clock. Clayton intercepts that pass. He's going to have a free run to the basket and lays it in. Smart move by Clayton there. Could have gone for the dunk, but chose otherwise. I'm sure his coach, I'm sure his coach appreciates, appreciates the lay-in as well there. Bangu now. All right, so we had an offensive charge on number seven, Bangu, to the Tamanois Wildcats, and we're going to have a timeout, Tamanois, and we're going to take a short break.
So as we come out of the timeout here, Juco bringing the ball up court for the uh, Thunderbirds. Into the hands of Clayton. Juco send that to number seven, Dylan, and he airballed that. Now into the hands of number 23, Arjun Hihar for three. Clayton with the ball now for the Thunderbirds. And he puts one up, it doesn't go. Bangu brings that down quickly all the way up court to number 11, Hare. Gives off to number 12, Sangara. And he travels. Coming into the game for the Thunderbirds is gonna be number 12, Dobson. Coming out, number seven, Dylan. Clayton inbounds there to Wariach. Warich directing traffic here. <laughs> Dobson now, Clayton driving. Step back jumper, can't get it to go. Ball gets rebounded by Bangu. Quickly into the hands of number 11, Hare. He gets it to number 23, he off. He are, and he puts it in. Thunderbirds 15, Wildcats 14. Warriors to Dobson, all the way to Clayton. Dobson goes up, can't get it to go, and we're gonna get a jump ball. And a little bit of pushing and shoving here. I'm not sure what, uh, not sure what Mia how. <coughs> Mia Halla was doing there. Ball's getting inbound by Warriach. And we got a hold here. And that hold was charged to red six, which would be Sonny Dami. Clayton, Clayton gets to Warriach. He's gonna try and drive up over top of number 23. He are, doesn't work. Hair got intercepted. <coughs> Juco with the ball now. Warriors to Clayton. He's gonna shoot the fadeaway, doesn't go. Coming down with that rebound was Hair. Quickly up court. Nice pass. Piha lays it in on the baseline for two. 16-15. Tamanoas. <laughs> Juco to Dylan. Now back to Juco. Kicks it out to Warriors for three, and it goes. Hare with the ball. Kicks it out to Ardalo Nite. Hihar for three. But Hare picks up that rebound there and he's gonna reset it. He's taking me. Thank you. And it looks like uh, Tamanos is gonna play for sort of the last shot here. There's about a eight second difference on the shot clock. Hare's gonna shoot the three. And that's gonna miss. And they're not gonna take the sub. 
Manowis makes the sub though. <clears throat> Number seven, Bangu comes back in. Juco, Woriach. Juco is going to drive and lay one up, and he can't get it to go. And Clayton goes down, but no foul called. So at the end of the first quarter, the score is the Thunderbirds 18, Tamana was 16. And we'll take a timeout for a uh, cleanup on aisle one. So as we, get, as we begin the uh, second quarter here, so we begin the second quarter here with the Wildcats uh, down two points but in control of the ball. Ball's in the hands of number 23, Hehar. He's gonna drive all the way around number seven, Dylan, and lay it in. Tie ball game. These really are two, uh, two heavyweight teams going at it. They all, both teams have a lot of size here. Um, really good individual skill, and uh, obviously both very well coached. <laughs> hey! Bangu with the slam. Nice assist from Michael Artoyanite. Warriors two. Hehar driving, and he lays it in, and he gets the foul. He's going to go to the line for the extra shot. So the foul is charged to number seven, Ganeev Dillon. And Hehar is going to go to the line to make the three point play here after he dropped that one in and got fouled. <clears throat> and Hehar makes it. 23-21 to Manuas, 8.45 left in the second quarter. South Fraser Basketball Championship. Clayton, beautiful little feed inside to Sneed there, but can't get it to go. Bangu comes down with it. Oh, he's driving right down the middle. No foul there. Warriox now, and he gets fouled. Sanger is going to get called for that block. Warriats up there now. Gives off to uh, number 10. 
Yahawa. Sneed now, turn around. Oh, he gets his rebound and he goes up. And now he gets fouled. Great work by Sneed underneath the hoop there. Took about three attempts and finally they called the foul. Um, but nevertheless, he's going to the line for... Uh, correct and I should have known this um, anyway Jack Sned at the line now I got that corrected I uh, I got to get that right scores 23-23 <laughs> Beautiful lay in there. Michael Ardalia Nite. Wildcats go back up by two. Warriors, Clayton. Dulay's in the game now for the Wild for the uh, Thunderbirds. He's gonna put up a two and make it go. Good start to his game for Dulay. Hare now gives off to Bangu. Floater, too hard to the backboard. Clayton comes down with it. Back into the hands of number 11, Jodan Woriach. Up top to number 10, Miahala. Dulé to Clayton. Oh boy. And now we're gonna get a foul. And that's gonna be charged to Mihala. And it's gonna be Wildcats ball. With um Hare now gives off to Ardal Raniti, driving and no foul there. Clayton comes up with it right up quickly to Warriors. He's gonna drive baseline, go all the way around, keep going, and he's gonna give it off to Juco into the hands of Clayton. Sned, can't get that to go, comes up short. Hare with the ball now for the Wildcats. Hare tries the bank shot. Clayton comes down with the rebound. Juco quickly up. Court cross center. Miahala into Clayton. Driving. Got doubled up. Juco. Sned comes down with the rebound. Kicks it all the way over to Clayton for three. Rebounded by Hihar. He's driving up court. Ardwalia Nito. Oh no. Turned over to Sned. And now we got a foul. So the foul's charged to Red 11. That's going to be uh, Jordan Hare. And we're going to take a short break with the score, 25-25.
But with, uh, with 5.26 remaining in the uh, first half, second quarter to be exact, we have a 25-25 tie ball game. Warriors brings the ball up for the Thunderbirds. He tries to get it into Sned. Nothing doing. Beautiful give and go there. Sangera to Hare to finish it off. Two point lead, Wildcats, five to go for second quarter. Warriors to Sned. And nice little jump shot from just outside the free throw mark. To tie it back up. Ardola, me too. Driving, nails it. Going to the line for the extra. And that foul's gonna get charged to Jack Sned. Ardwalia Niti is going to the line for the extra point. Make it a three point play here. That'll put Tomanos up by 30 to 27 if he gets it. Subs coming into the game. Coming in for the Thunderbird. Number eight, Ethan Dillon. Coming out, number 13, Sned. Juco inbounds to Warriors. Turn back over. Number 12. Sangara lays it in. 32-27 to Manuas. 4.15 <coughs> remaining. Second quarter. Dylan with the ball. Gets it into Clayton. He's going to try and drive. Warriors tries the three, but that gets intercepted by a draw you need to. He's going to go all the way on his own, and he goes. Beautiful behind the back lay-in from Michael Ardwoa Niti. And he'll go back to the line to try and make it a three-point play. Doesn't go, but it gets rebounded and now into the hands and foul again. That was number 20 man that rebounded it, kicked it over to Hihar. Hihar got fouled. And that foul got charged to number three, Juco. And that's gonna be his That's going to put uh, Tamanuas in the bonus. Hihar makes the first. And he gets the second. Chuko gives way to Dillon. Now into the hands of number one, Dulay. Up to Clayton. Dillon. Juco. And a foul. And they're going to charge to number five, Ardalwa Niti. And Dylan will inbound. Dulay, Dulay was with the ball there, sorry. Clayton now has it. Juco driving hard. And 
That's going to go off at number 23, Hehar. It'll be uh, Thunderbird's ball with seven seconds on the shot clock. All the way out to Dillon. Clayton's going to try and drive. Gets the shot off, but can't get it to go. Hehar all the way up court. Kicks it to Ardual Leoniti. And that doesn't go down, but Hehar gets, the, sorry, number 20. Man gets the rebound. I'm getting kind of blocked out here a bit. Ardual Leoniti drives and fouled. Foul got charged to 33. Jack Clayton was a push. Um, when we uh, come out of the timeout, Tomanos will be shooting two at the free throw line. We'll take a short break. So Michael Ardual Yaniti is going to shoot two shots here. And he makes the first. And he makes the second. Chuko bringing the ball up court for the Thunderbirds. Into the hands of Warriach. Dulé now. He's going to take the jumper but get blocked. And it's going to be Thunderbird's ball with 19 on the shot clock. And that shot goes by Dylan. Much needed two pointer for the Thunderbirds there. lays in the two. 40 to 29 for the Wildcats over the Thunderbirds with 2.16 to go. Second quarter. Dylan three. Nails it. Number 11 coming up court there. Hare gets it to Hehar. Nice floating jumper. Hehar's on fire here. One man wrecking machine here for the Wildcats, number 23, Arjun Hihar. Dylan's gonna try again, but that's gonna fall way short. Arjun will need to up to number 11. Jordan Hare lays it in. 
44-32. Tomatoes Wildcats. Minute 30 to go. For three. Ardwalian team with that rebound. Quickly up. And he's going to kick it out. Sangara tries the three. Doesn't go. Juco on the rebound. All the way over to Dylan into Clayton. Beautiful up and down. No foul there. Number 20 man came down with that. Ardwal Yaniti. Hare with the ball now. Clayton tries to go for the steal. Gets it inside the man. Nothing doing. Clayton gets that rebound, quickly gets it to Juco. And that ball's gonna get batted out of bounds. And coming into the game for the Thunderbird, it's gonna be Proven Dosange. Checking out is gonna be Dulé. Jack Clayton's coming out for the Thunderbirds. And uh, that's gonna be Ganev Dillon coming in for the Thunderbird. So we got about a five second to six second difference on the shot clock. Hare with the ball for the Wildcats. <clears throat> Getting pressured up top by Dillon. Sangara gives off to Hihar. Hihar drives. Floater goes. Warrior quickly up there. And he's going to float one up. Can't get it to go. So, at the half, Tomanowis Wildcats 46, Semiamu Thunderbirds 32. <clears throat> Just want to um, compliment the crowds here today. Uh, the crowds that uh, the crowds for um, all week have been great, and um, you know, like I said, the fans have been really good, uh, really respectful of. Uh, of uh, how they cheer, doing the things they need to do to, to make this game exciting for the players and the people watching. So I want to thank them too. We're going to take a short break here. When we come back from the uh, halftime, it'll be uh, Tamanoa's ball on the inbound.
just a reminder, friends, the corner there, if you can make sure you stay well back, well back against the wall. It would be easier if you can find a seat. There is room up in the bleachers. So as we start the third quarter, we have a 46-32 lead for the Tamanos Wildcats over the Semiamu Thunderbirds. Bangu gives off to number 12, Sangara, who finds hair. He's gonna drive, get it inside the man. Man's getting fouled. And the basket's good. And the foul's on number 10. Miyahawa and number 20 man he's going to go to the free throw stripe and he's going to make it 48-32 to Manuas. Miyahawa Juko to Wariach he was looking for Clayton there but couldn't get it to him Mia Howell to Sned. Warriors for three. Rims out into the hands of number seven, Bangu. Quickly up to 11, Hare. And he couldn't connect with Sangara. It's a turnover. Juco brings the ball up court for the Thunderbirds. Miyahawa for three, nails it. Gives the Thunderbirds some life here. Ball's in the hands of Sangara right now. Oh, beautiful. Offensive foul. It looked like Burke was gonna have a nice dish off there to man, but Burke's continuation he slammed right into a Semiamu player, and that created the offensive foul. After the maintenance guy cleaned the sweat off the floor, we resume play. Ball in the hands of uh, Nehala. Got it to Clayton. He couldn't get that shot to go. And ball gets knocked out of bounds by Juco. Inbounded by Ardwala Niti into the hands of Hare. Sangara now, trying to drive, oh boy. <laughs> Juco couldn't hang on to that and it went out of bounds. So a 12 on the shot clock. There you go. We got a travel call to number five, Adalwa Niti. Juco inbounds to Warriors. Juco for three, and he's getting fouled. 
That foul's gonna get charged number 11, Hare. I'm just gonna keep my microphone on here. The maintenance guy's gonna come out here with the uh, glasses and everything and clean the floor up. So when we come back from the maintenance here, we're gonna have, uh, we good? We're gonna have Juco going to the line for uh, three shots here. Juco misses the first. Hits the second. And hits the third. Two for three from the charity stripe is Juco. Bangu has the ball now for the Wildcats being checked closely by Juco. Beautiful lay in by Bangu. A lot of contact there. Still got that to go. Juco for the long jumper. Doesn't go, but Jack Clayton comes down with it but gets blocked by Bangu. And here comes Hehar. He's driving hard. And we got no call there at all. Surprised by that. But Commanderos comes back up with the ball in the hands of Bangu. Spins, tries to lay it in, can't get it to go. Sneds battling with the ball. And it's gonna be uh, Thunderbird's ball. Oh my gosh, here we go. I should just announce from down here. I got announcing do I got announcing duties, I got sweeper duties, I got all sorts of duties, and I got fan duties in the corner here. Anyway. I think we're all mopped up. Well, there we go. So when we come back in, we're gonna have, uh, it's gonna be Thunderbird ball when we come out of this uh, maintenance timeout here. And Jack Clayton's gonna inbound for the Thunderbird. And he's gonna put that ball into, uh, he's gonna throw that ball into Juco here and they're gonna come up court here. Mihawa, three! The Thunderbirds have closed to within 11 here with 6.35 left in the third quarter. Hehar with the ball now, being guarded by Sned. That ball didn't go down. Warriox with the ball into Clayton. He's gonna drive. Can't get that to go. Rebounded by Bangu. All the way to Hehar into the corner to Sangera. Back up to he Hehar. Bangu. Sangera. Wow. Beautiful fadeaway by Sangera there to go. 53-40 to Manuas. Beautiful rebound by Warriach and he lays it in. Oh man, here we go again. This is why I'm not even I'm not even turning off the microphone right now. We just gotta go out here and clean this floor up all the time, eh? I don't need anything. I got my Swiffer sweeper. There we go. So
Sir. Man, oh. And we got a foul here. And that's going to be uh, charged to number three, Juco. So number 20 man, he's gonna shoot two. Makes the first. Hang on, just wait. So that shot did not count. So we're gonna shoot that again. And he's gonna make it. And he makes a second. 55-42, Tamanowas, five minutes remaining, third quarter. Balls inside the snad out to Clayton. Boom! Clayton nails it. The Thunderbirds got it down to 10 points now. Hehar. Oh, beautiful inside move there to man. Nice assist by Hehar. Man lays it in. Puts the Wildcats back up by 12. Clayton's gonna shoot again, and he's gonna hit it. Leads down to nine. Michael Adarwa, Nichi is driving. Doesn't go, Roria comes down with the rebound. Up court he goes. All the way. Roria with it again. To Juco. Juco's gonna drive, and he lays it in. And we got a timeout, taken by Tamanowis. So as we go to timeout, the score is uh, now a seven point lead. We've managed to find uh, the actual, uh, we've managed to find the actual maintenance person on this floor here now, he's doing his job. So I can take a break here. We'll be back in a uh, few minutes here. So as they come out of the Tomatoes timeout, the Thunderbirds have narrowed this thing down to seven points. It's 57-50 for the Wildcats. And we have um, 3.51 remaining, third quarter. Ehar with the ball now on Sned. That's a travel. <clears throat> and so that basket didn't count. They'll take the ball at free throw line extended. And um, a lot of floor wiping going on here. A lot of sweat being uh, dispersed.
Juco bringing the ball. <laughs> Juco bringing the ball up court. Miyahawa to Clayton. Short jumper. Bangu. Audra. Adalwa Nitwa. The three. Puts it. Michael. Adalwa Niti. Warriors. Driving Clayton, floater, can't get that to go. Bangu comes down with that. Mihala <coughs> Guarding hair. Bangu with the ball. Hihar. Driving. And the Thunderbirds take a timeout here. 62-50. Tamanuas. I got, I got. Hey, we need two points. Hey. A lot going on here right now in the at Lord Tweedsburg's gym. It's the final of the South Fraser Basketball Championship, senior boys, and it's a 62-50 lead for the Tamanuas Wildcats over the Semiamu Thunderbirds. Semiamu uh, was down, as, down by as much as uh, 14 at one point. They managed to scrape it back to seven. It's now a 12-point lead for Tamanuas. after the timeout. Juco inside to Clayton. Turnaround jumper goes. 10 point lead to Manuas. 62-52. Clayton takes that rebound on that shot that didn't go by Hare. <coughs> Juco closely guarded. Mihaela. That slam dunk didn't go. Now they'll try a three. That doesn't work. And that goes into the hands of Clayton. Adola Nietzsche tried the big slam dunk and it backfired. Juco driving inside the Clayton. And that's going to go off of Michael. Adola. Nietzsche. Clayton comes out of the game and Dylan comes in. <laughs> we got a few people here in the uh, gymnasium now that want to try their hand at the, main at the maintenance gig. That shot doesn't go. He didn't get that off before the uh, shot clock went out. So that'll be a turnover. Jordan Hare with the ball up top for the Wildcats. Being guarded by Mia Hela. And a slam dunk. 
by Sam, by Bangu there. He lays that in. Juco into Sned. And he goes up and gets it. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Okay, so so Sned's going to go to the line for the extra to make it a three-point play. <coughs> Doesn't get it, but he gets an even better setup where he gets the rebound and it gets turned over. And that's Jordan Hare for the easy lay in. Nice rebound by Mia Hale, but he turned it over. And there's no shot there. Totally stopped at the end by Adorawa Niti. So, as we take the third quarter break, we have a 66 54 score for the Tomanos Wildcats. <coughs> So, I don't know if many people know, notice, but as, <clears throat> as grueling of a sport as this is, it does take its toll not just on the players, but the officials. Um, we, hope that, uh, we hope that Dave Barry's okay. Uh, he had to be uh, replaced and got relieved in the game. Uh, thank you to Joe Capituando for stepping in here. As uh, we hope Dave Barry's okay. And as we resume play, Semiamu Thunderbirds have the ball inside to Clayton. He goes up and uh, he can't get that to go. Bangu with the ball now. He's going to shoot a three. And it goes. The score is 69-54 to Manuas. Mihaela for three, and he's going to get his own rebound, but I don't think he can keep himself in bounds there. So we have a uh, we have a charge called on number five, Michael Adarwa Niti, and um,
So after the charge to number five, Adal Winitu. Thunderbirds have the ball in the hands of Mihaela to Clayton. Now to Juco. Oh, there it goes. Off the rim, off the backboard. Mateo Mihaela nails it. Gets it down to a 12 point deficit now for the Thunderbirds. Bangu out to man. Sangera. And a foul. And that foul's on number 33, Jack Clayton. <laughs> How many is it? Horn. Okay. going to come out of the game here. Coming into the game is number nine. Provin Dosange for the Thunderbirds. And Adwala Nietzsche nails the first one. Puts the second. 71-57, Wildcats over the Thunderbirds right now. 8.31 left in the fourth quarter. That was a big three there by Mia Hale, but it's intercepted, and, oh! <laughs> so, the Thunderbirds actually got a basket there. Um, it looked to be uh, goaltending, but no call. And Bangu hits it. 74-59. To Manuas. Juco to Sned. Provin de Sange for two. Bangu, he's going to try and drive. <coughs> Man, the Bangu. And we're going to travel. And that'll be a turnover. So after the travel, the ball gets inbound to Juco by Wariac. Gets it into Sned. Beautiful turnaway jumper for Sned. <coughs>
Sangara with the ball, or sorry, Hare with the ball. Adarwa need to. Hehar now, all the way to Bangu in the corner. It's gonna drive, doesn't go, but Hehar gets the rebound. Can't get it to go up either. Warriors comes down with that on a great rebound by Miyahala. Can the Thunderbirds do this? Sned underneath, fouled. And that foul is going to get charged to number 20, Kasurvik Man. And Tamanowis takes a timeout with the score. The Wildcats 74, <coughs> the Thunderbirds 63. Ned misses the first. Makes the second. Adalo Aniti up court now into the hands of Bangu. All the way over to Mann. Mann's going to try and drive. Big powerful play. power play there by Mann. I don't think the Thunderbirds have any answer for that power game underneath. Juco, Mihaela, in the sned, all the way over to Woliach. That grazes the rim and is rebounded by number 11, Hare, into Adoro Nietzsche. He's going to try and drive, have to kick it out to Bangu. And we got Clayton getting ready to come back into the game here for the Thunderbird. Hits the rim. And that shot attempt, that three attempt by Hare hit the rim, but then uh, in a rundown for it, ended up going off of, um, I think, Mia Hala. Um, Coming into the game, back into the game actually is uh, Clayton, Jack Clayton. He's got four personal fouls on him, so he's got to be careful with 4.41 to go. And a 76-64 to Manus Wildcats lead. Sned with a great defensive play there. Into the hands of Juco. And... Warriors gets that all the way underneath to Dosange and for whatever reason that didn't go, went all the way over the hoop. And we got water on the floor. So at 4.08 we've had a referee timeout here for water on the floor.
So the Thunderbirds are going to take a timeout here. Uh, that'll leave them with one left after this. So um, each team will be left with one timeout with just uh, over four minutes to go. Score 76 64, Tomatoes Wildcats. We'll be back in 30 seconds. So after the timeout, Tamanos inbounds to Bangu. He tries to drive on Sned, but gives off to Hihar, and a charge is coming. Pretty good call there. Clayton was definitely in the lane there. Hihar blew right through him there. And we got more sweat on the floor. going to inbound here to Juco, I believe. There we go. Juco's going to try and drive. Oh, doesn't go. Adorla Nietzsche comes down with it, comes up court hard. Turns the ball over to Juco. Tried to get a little fancy. Sned up. And he doesn't go and get it, and it gets into the hands of number 11, Hare. And we're getting to that point with about three minutes remaining in the game here. It's a 12-point deficit. The Thunderbirds have to make something happen pretty quick here, but every time they've tried to get there, Oh man, what a big shot there by Eduardo Aniti. Gets into the hands of Miahela. Kicked out to Warriok. He's going to shoot the three. And can't get it to go, but Clayton gets up and gets fouled. And that foul is going to get charged to Sartaj Bangu, number seven of the Wildcats. Clayton's going to the line to shoot two. Clayton missed the first, makes the second. Okay. 
And we got a foul here. And that foul's getting charged to Juco, number three. Ball gets inbound to number 11, Jordan Hare. Hehar can't get it to go. Clayton comes down with it into the hands of Juco. Clayton for three. Yes! Bank, bank shot. As you can tell, I'm losing my voice here. I'm not cut out for this. Uh, I'm not cut out for two games in a row here, but either way, we have a uh, eight point ball game now. So with, with 2.09 to go, 76 68 to Manuas. Ball's in down to Bangu. He are with the ball now in the Bangu. Hair. Oh, he threw it away. Right to Juco. In the sled. And he put it right over the hoop. Hair back to Eduardo Aniti. Hair for three, rebounded by Miahera. Juco gets the ball. Turned over into the hands of Man. Bangu for three, it's good! So our score is 79-68 for Tamanowis. And if I'm correct, I think the uh, <coughs> I think the Tamanos fans are yelling warm up the boss. So just making a clock adjustment. The Thunderbirds are going to inbound with 50.9 seconds left. And Juco puts it in the hands of 
Atolu Anuti. Now to Bangu. Back to Ndwala Niti, and he fouls. And I think that's going to be it for Juco. And wholesale change is coming in for the Thunderbirds. Wholesale change is in for the Wildcats. And um, with 32 seconds left, we'll, uh, we'll turn it over here and let the kids take it away with Tamanos in control here, 79-68. And we'll let the fans and the kids have the rest of this game. So, the score's gonna end 79-68. For Tamanowis, they are gonna be the South Fraser champions and be the number one seed coming out of this conference, heading into the seeding meeting for the BC Provincials. Congratulations, Tamanowis and head coach Mike McKay, and congratulations to Semiamu Thunderbird and head coach Les Brown on a great tournament. And 
First team all star to number 33, Jack Taylor. <laughs> At this time, I would like to call upon, uh, well, I'll do this first this way. Um, I'd like to present to the Crowns Wildcats, first team all star, to number five, Michael. Above the three. <laughs> Thank you very much and have a good night.